guys what's up and welcome back to my channel my name is Renee if you are new thank you so much for clicking and watching this video today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys seven triggers on getting quality sleep these seven tips are scientifically proven to help you get in that relaxation state and get the sleep that you need for your mental as well as physical health sleep is super super important so I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right into it the first way to get good quality sleep is CBD oil. CBD oil has so many different benefits, including reducing anxiety, helping with muscle recovery, inflammation, as well as chronic pain. I am a huge believer in CBD oil. I love the beneficial qualities of it. CBD is sourced from the hemp plant, but it does not have THC in it, so you don't get the high effects. CBD is a completely natural source, so if you are used to like getting sleeping pills or over-the-counter medicine to help with your sleep those tend to have a lot of different chemicals in it where this is a completely derived source from the earth literally from the hemp plant the CBD reacts to receptors in the brain in your body for therapeutical benefits because CBD is becoming like world-renowned there are so many different companies who are mass producing it so it's important to find good good quality CBD otherwise you're not gonna get all of the benefits so the brand that I use is herb strong all of their products always have over 80% CBD in them and it's one of the high highest quality CBDs on the market. There is absolutely no THC in the products, which means you do not get the feeling of being high, and it is always sourced from the full hemp plant. So what I use is the hemp recovery drops. These are extra strong. I will leave them linked in the description box down below. So I have these extra strength drops, a thousand milligrams full spectrum hemp oil recovery drops. All you need is one drop of this hemp oil and you place it underneath your tongue for one minute. When you do this, because you don't get that feeling of high, there's not like a sudden feeling of like the CBD kicking in. Over time, you just become super relaxed and less anxious. Nice to have right before you fall asleep. They also have this recovery cream so this is something that you put on your body to relax your muscles and help with inflammation so I actually just got back from a trip and I had like a, cr a crick in my neck how do you say that like the thing where you can't turn your head I had like a really bad neck pain as well as muscle just pain from um, working out and I just put a little bit of this cream it's literally like a lotion on the lower part of my neck as well as my shoulders and it instantly made me feel better. I've never used anything like this. It's just so good. It just kind of absorbs into your skin and helps with the recovery. And when you're in that relaxation state and you have nothing kind of running on your mind and you just instantly feel better and relieved, you can fall asleep super, super, super quick. CBD has been known to work with sleep. It is something that I personally love using. I'm not a huge fan of medicine and putting things in my body that I don't know like where it comes from. So the fact that this is sourced now naturally and it's a natural remedy for sleep it's super super helpful for me and I'm okay using it so hemp strong actually gave you guys 10% off if you use the code renee 10 and click on the link in my description box so thank you herb strong for that the second tip that I have for getting quality sleep is ASMR if you guys watch a lot of YouTube I'm sure you guys have heard of ASMR I personally didn't really understand it until recently it's something that I kind of looked at as like kind of weird and I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of like a closeted ASMR person like I don't necessarily tell people I listen to ASMR I don't know why it's just like if you watch it and you don't understand like the full benefits of ASMR I feel like you'd be like what the hell am I watching what are other people watching this is so weird but it's actually a therapeutic technique ASMR stands for autonomous sensory meridian response it is a therapeutic technique like a scientifically proven therapeutic technique for relaxation. How I got into this and how I even found out about it in the first place was there was a requested video on YouTube for me called like sleep triggers um, by a girl that I watch called ASMR Glow. I'll leave her link down below as well. I just thought she was like really pretty and like she looked kind of exotic looking so I like clicked on her just because I was like oh she's like really pretty and I started like just playing it in the background because I was actually teaching at the time and I was like in between classes and all of a sudden, no joke, my head started getting these like super, super tingly, weird feelings. I felt like my head was like almost melting. It was like the feeling of someone scratching your back or playing with your hair where your eyes just kind of droop. And it was just like this weird feeling. And I like looked it up and I was like ASMR, like head is tickling or tingling and I guess that's like a common response for ASMR videos and that's why people call them triggers so there's so many different things on ASMR there's like whispering noises songs like all these different things that 
each person has their specific trigger that makes them feel like that but asmr is known to give you tingles in your scalp and on your lower neck and therefore relaxing your body it gives you a very calming pleasurable feeling and it is so relaxing i do not know how to describe it and i don't think you will understand unless you fully experience it a lot of people listen to asmr with headphones in because i think outside noises can affect the response that your body has for it. I guess you just kind of have to find your own trigger. So if you have time, um, maybe try watching a few videos or trigger videos and find your specific trigger. What I like to do is put on ASMR Glow and I'll put it on my phone. I'll kind of dim the brightness on my screen and she uses already kind of like a dim setting so her videos aren't that bright. I'll put the video on my iPhone, turn off all the lights and close my eyes and just kind of listen to the noises. She does this thing called like mic scratching or she'll like kind of like scratch on the mic and it sounds like ocean waves and it just instantly puts me to sleep when i first started watching it i was like what am i watching like i felt uncomfortable watching it because not all the triggers are triggering to me so there's lots of different very different things that you'll see and you kind of feel a little bit off when you're first watching it but trust me when you find like your specific trigger you will instantly fall asleep it's literally like someone scratching your back or like playing with your hair and you're just like slowly getting those like really drowsy feelings you'll be asleep in no time so the third tip that i have for falling asleep is to read but not just reading anything i think reading fiction fun books that don't require a lot of thinking if you're reading a self-help book or non-fiction book and you're learning something it kind of sparks that motivation in your head and you get in that mindset of learning and growth and inspiration and you tend to not fall asleep because you're kind of getting excited and your mind is waking up you're literally working out your mind so you want to read something that kind of slows your mind down so a fiction book is really really something that I personally like reading at night I never read self-help books at night if I do I'm awake all night something else that I do when I read is not reading with an overhead light on or even a lamp I have a little clip light that I put on my book while I'm reading that way when I'm done reading all I have to do is switch off the light and the room around me is already dark so it kind of puts me in that mindset of falling asleep when I leave lights on when I get drowsy I have to get up to turn them off and then I kind of wake myself up again so just having that clip on light for your book is just really really helpful when you do become drowsy to kind of just put everything away and instantly fall asleep I'll leave that link down below as well the fourth tip that I have is to brain dump everything on your mind onto paper this could be a to-do list this could be your feelings or emotions everything that's on your mind and getting it out on paper for example if you have a lot of things that you need to do tomorrow before you fall asleep you're never going to fall asleep because you're constantly worrying and thinking about all the things you have to remember to do tomorrow so instead have a piece of paper next to your bed and just write out a brain dump write out your to-do list for tomorrow write out all the things that are worrying you that you'll just kind of resolve and fix tomorrow morning will help ensure that one you'll remember to do it tomorrow and two you have nothing going on in your mind because you have it all on paper i feel like a lot of insomniacs they don't fall asleep because they have so much on their mind so when you physically write it out on paper you are literally taking everything on your mind and shifting it over it's almost like therapeutic you kind of just have this instant relief your mind just being kind of blank like you were literally getting everything out of your mind so that you have nothing on your mind that way you can fall asleep fast you have nothing to worry about you have nothing to do you have nothing to try to remember it's just a brain dump and you're instantly kind of released from those thoughts in your mind and able to fall asleep quicker the fourth tip that i have is the four seven eight breathing technique so this technique is a breathing technique that slows your breathing down and gets you into that relaxation state so you're going to rest the tip of your tongue on the roof of your mouth right in front of your front teeth the first thing to do is with your lips open kind of give a whooshing exhale of your breath and just exhale everything out of your lungs second step you're going to close your lips and inhale through your nose quietly and count to four. Third step is to hold your breath for seven seconds. This is the most important part. And then the fourth step is that whooshing exhale again, but you're going to exhale for eight seconds. So try doing this a few times and see if um, that helps get your mind into the relaxation state. Generally, you should be falling asleep within like a couple minutes. The sixth tip that I have for falling asleep quickly is to take a hot bath or a hot shower. Really hot, steam up your bathroom, get sweaty. Like make it a sauna the sudden drop of temperature in your body is what helps you get 
that deep rest. Fun fact is that it's not the heat that gets your body to fall asleep quick, but it's actually the cooling down process. So when your body drops suddenly and then you need to cool down, that energy that it takes to cool your body down kind of drains you and makes you really tired. So when you're taking a hot bath or a hot shower, you generally feel tired after. So the cooling down period is ultimately what relaxes you. The seventh and final tip that I have is lavender oil. If you guys watch any of my videos, you know how important lavender is to me. Lavender is extremely calming, extremely relaxing. I personally prefer to put it in an oil diffuser. Again, you want to make sure that you're getting quality lavender. I use the doTERRA oil. Again, I'll leave that link down below as well as the diffuser that I use, but the diffuser kind of sounds like a waterfall. So that mixed in with the lavender and the aroma of like having a diffuser honestly puts me to bed so quick. Also, if you do it every single night, the minute that you put it on, your mind will kind of trigger to sleep mode. The more you do it, the more you'll fall asleep quicker. You can also put like a few drops on your pillow or on your PJ collar. The lavender oil slows your heart rate as well as relaxes your muscles. So the combination is just like perfect for falling asleep. Whenever I go to yoga, they always give me like a cool lavender towel. Um, I've had yoga instructors put lavender and massage it into my back. So if you have a boyfriend or girlfriend that's willing to do that for you and have them gently massage it into your skin and it just like, ugh, honestly, I'm dead asleep like that. It's crazy. So that's going to be it for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that it will help you get some quality sleep. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you guys all in a future video. Bye guys.